okay. I'm ready to perform. <laughs> I'm ready. What is up, Crackhead Nation? It is your girl, Princess Galaxy. And holy crap, guys, the day is here. Well, the days are gone. But BTS literally announced their Permission to Dance live tour concert four day thing that they're doing in Los Angeles. And honestly, like, it kind of came out of nowhere. Like, I was, at least me, I was shook because. I talked about in a video that I already recorded that I didn't upload for some reason. I already talked about like not expecting to see BTS until 2022 and the BTS was like, um, hey ARMY, so well, we gonna surprise you and you better get these tickets right now because we really miss your asses. So BTS, obviously, if you don't know, announced that they're going to be performing four special concerts for ARMY in LA. So we're gonna have a bunch of ARMY coming from all around the world to see BTS for the first time in like, I'm pretty sure two years now. So that is literally insane. So today, if you got tickets, congratulations. I'm going to be telling you my important tips and iconic advice on basically how to prepare for the concert. I know I've made a ton of videos about, you know, concert survival and things like that. And I just wanted to make a new video for this specific situation because a lot of people have been asking me, first of all, and also a lot of things have changed in the past few years since, you know, doing normal concert stuff and even since the last time i saw bts like i lived a completely different life than the one i do now so and i'm pretty sure a lot of us can relate to that so let's begin so these are the things that you're gonna want to do um right after you get your tickets so congratulations you most likely got your tickets and if you didn't don't worry i know resale prices are literally insane right now as you can see like that is effing excuse my language fucking ridiculous those prices but if you still want to get tickets to LA you can probably get decent price ones like a few days before the concert or like a week before so even if they're crazy right now scalpers is trying to get as much money as they can from ARMY because they know ARMY really wants to see BTS like the demand is super high so I would just recommend to wait if you still want to buy concert tickets but you have concert tickets so let's just imagine you the iconic person that you are get, have concert tickets already what's the first thing you do okay you haven't seen bts probably ever or you haven't seen them in a long time you've never been to la um you you know like so many experiences so many probably new situations that you haven't dealt with before so the first thing i would do share a screenshot of your ticket that you just literally fought with your blood sweat and tears for and let everyone know that you just got a ticket to see one of the most iconic boy groups, if not the most iconic boy group on the planet. So I know obviously it's not, you're like, princess, what are you talking about? Like, it's this is not a big deal. Like, give me some serious stuff. I'm getting there, girl. You gotta be a little patient, okay? We're just trying to have a little fun right now. So when it comes to screenshotting your ticket, I have seen this so many times. You need to blur out all of your order numbers or your QR code because someone could easily take that screenshot and cancel your tickets or transfer them over without you even knowing like they could literally call Ticketmaster and be like hey i have order blah 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 order number blah 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 my ticket is this 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 and before you even know it like without you even knowing it someone could mess up your entire vibe so just make sure to be confidential and to make sure that you're not just posting your crap out there like it's okay to like have just like your seat number like your row or anything like that but i think it's really important that a lot of people don't think about this but it is so prevalent i've told multiple people buying tickets please like blur out your qr code or like scribble over it and like edit or something like that so that's something really important that a lot of people don't know about and maybe sleeping on so that's number one number two which is way more fun than number one is to check out the view from your seat so if you've never been in an NFL stadium in the United States, or really any stadium, or even SoFi Stadium, you can literally look and like look online at your section where your ticket is, and you can literally see a 360 view of like your view when you get to the concert. Lucky for everyone who got tickets to see BTS in LA, I just found this out recently, actually today. So this is amazing. The SoFi Stadium actually has a virtual venue website where you can just visit. So you can see the exact 360 view from your section. Like you can just 
type in your section and, or you can just click on it on desktop and they will literally show you a 360 view of like how far you are from the stage, what it will look like. And I just want to remind people, even if you feel like your tickets weren't that good, like a lot of people don't realize this when they don't really go to a lot of concerts, but I've been to like 30 concerts and I can verify for you that any, or like 99% of the seats at a stadium are like amazing. Like you will literally, you will get there and you'll be like, it's not that big. Like, because I feel like pictures online makes it feel so much bigger than it actually is. But when you get there, you're like, I could see everything really good. Like even if you're in like the three or four hundreds or even a five hundred section, you will still feel like you're having like the time of your life. Especially if you've never been to a K-pop concert or any concert before. Trust me, no matter what seat you got, even if like, oh, I didn't get floor seats, oh, blah, blah, blah. Sometimes floor seats are like the worst seats, depending on like how tall you are and things like that. I'm not trying to shame people who got floor seats, but I'm just saying it's a good reminder. And looking at this view chart will really excite you and be like, wow, like I actually got like a good view, you know? So I think that's really important to bring up morale if you're feeling a little down about maybe the ticket that you got or maybe didn't get. It depends. Number three, which probably should be number one, but <laughs> I'm saving this for the real people who keep watching the video, <laughs> is basically to make your travel plans as soon as humanly possible, okay? I know also, so plan your itinerary as soon as you can, including hotel, flights, obviously. Honestly, flights will probably be the first thing for me, like how you're going to get to LA if you don't live like in California or like you can't really drive. Do you wanna take the plane? Do you wanna take a train? Do you wanna take, you know, a bus? You know, like whatever you can, whatever your budget, you know? In the age of COVID, there's a lot of nuances like when it comes to like finalizing like trips and things like that. So I really recommend that if you wanna like go with like a hotel or something like that, or even an Airbnb, if that's what you choose to do. Personally, I would choose a hotel because I don't know. I just feel like during these times, it's like, I feel like the hotel is maybe more, like established, I don't know, that's just my opinion. I'm not trying to like sway you, what you wanna do, but basically if you're going to like a hotel, like it's important to know like their cancellation fees and know like, you know, what protocols they have for COVID. So a lot of hotels are still kind of like the same during the pandemic and like now, so it's not like super extreme, but those things are really important to know and like cancellation fees and things like that. Also, <laughs> This concert is gonna be from November, the end of November to early December. And you know what's going on in November and December? Thanksgiving, Christmas, you know? It's like, just because it, aren't, it isn't like Thanksgiving day or, thank, or Christmas day, like a lot of people are going to be traveling. So these prices are naturally gonna be maybe more expensive than they are like, a, like year round. Like they're not gonna be the same price as they are in February of this year. Like it's gonna be different because it's like a peak season of just traveling in general. So that's why I recommend to really like get on that. Like go to Google flights, you know, go to like a website that you trust personally. If you don't have a website that you trust, I personally recommend Southwest Airlines. Um, I like Southwest, they're reliable, at least to me. I've had a good experience with them. And I've also flown United, but I hated flying United. So I would just recommend Southwest, <laughs> that's just my thing. I don't really like United, but just get whatever works for you. So yeah. The next thing is to find out what you are going to need for the concert. The concert, like I said, we're living in a new era of COVID. So you're going to need some things that you did not need two, three, five years ago even. Most times, at least in my experience, when we buy tickets for concerts, it's usually, I would say, three, six months, even a year out from like when you buy the ticket. So you have enough time, you're like, oh, okay, I gotta buy this, 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 and this, and this. No, girl, you don't have time for that, okay? Like, you need to get this shit, excuse me, Excuse my friend you need to get this stuff immediately like in the next like month or so and also you know we've been hearing about like shortages and things like that with like merchandise and just so many different industries are being affected so i really recommend you start getting this stuff a s a p like seriously so i actually made a list of like a rough idea of what you should pack and bring with you i'm going to be reading it off the screen so um 
I'm gonna be looking over here for a second. I also will have this list available on my Instagram and Twitter at galaxy underscore Ray, R-A-E. So you can look at it there. You can screenshot it. You can print it out. You can check mark it, put it on your, put it in your locker at school. Well, maybe not because some people be having to stay home for at home learning, but. So here's a list of things that I think you will most likely, if not definitely need. And a lot of these are straight necessities. These aren't just optional. These are necessities and you get need to get them straightened out for real or you will not be able to get into the venue. <laughs> so the first thing is a ticket, which is usually on your phone. Um, I'm not sure if Ticketmaster had the option because I wasn't able to get tickets. <laughs> Thanks Ticketmaster, fuck you. But usually Ticketmaster has an option where you can either get it through, get like order tickets through the mail. Like they'll send you like a physical copy. You can either print them out or you can just keep them on your Ticketmaster app. If you keep them on the Ticketmaster app though, I really recommend that you download it like maybe to your Apple wallet or Google wallet. That's just something I like to do because like I have an Apple phone. So like I have an iPhone, so it makes me feel a bougie. But I also recommend screenshotting as well. Like when you get there, like if the reception is like really like shitty, then you can just screenshot it and then you can have it if you know the app isn't loading or anything while you're in line so that's another important tip as well next is a negative covid test or covid proof of vaccination so this is actually really important i'm not sure how strict they're going to be about this i hope that they are moderately strict because you know the reason why bts is doing this in the first place is because number one they miss army and number two they want to do it in a safe way so this is from SoFi's official stadium. I know a lot of people have been having questions about this. So I just wanna say exactly how it is on the website. So it says here, fans age 12 and over must provide proof of either COVID-19 vaccination or a negative COVID-19 test result taken within 72 hours of game day slash like the event you're going to. So this really is gonna take a lot of preparation on your part. Um, if you're 12 and over, get vaccinated. If for some, if you don't want to get vaccinated, make sure you or like if that's unavailable to you, make sure that you are tested. Is 72 hours like three days? Wait, is it? Yeah, I think that's three days. <laughs> I'm acting like my brain is like. <laughs> Like, I don't know what's going on. So that's basically like, I'm pretty sure three days before the event, you need to have like a negative COVID test. And it also says to be considered fully vaccinated, fans are required to have received their final COVID dose a minimum of two weeks before game, before the game day, meaning two weeks following the second dose of the Pfizer or Moderna vaccine or AstraZeneca for international fans, and at least two weeks following a single dose of the Johnson & Johnson vaccine. So that's like protocol for a lot of places in America now, like concert venues with over like 10,000. Um, so yeah, and also um, if you want like to show proof of your vaccination, all you basically need to do is either have like the physical car with you or like a document from your doctor saying that you were vaccinated or just you can even take a picture of it on your phone. Personally, I would take my card because it's always in my wallet and it's always next to my ID, which I always bring with me everywhere. So yeah, you can take a picture of it, but I personally would bring a physical copy just in case. It also says of a negative test, fans may present either of the following as proof of a qualifying negative test, a printed document from the test provider or laboratory, or an email or text message displayed on a phone from the test provider or a laboratory. So those are like the main things, like the modern era of COVID that you'll definitely need to get into the stadium. Other things that I always include in my checklist are a clear bag that fits the stadium bag policies because SoFi Stadium is um i believe the la chargers which is like an nfl team so they are like a nfl stadium and they do have specific qualifications for bag policies they want it to be clear um plastic vinyl or pvc and do not extend 12 inches by 6 by 12 inches so basically you can go on their website and you know check that out for sure but that's just something that's really important because they will not let you in without a clear bag. They're very serious about that, especially at NFL stadiums and like big venues like that. 
Next that I always take is an identification card, like an ID or a passport. I just bring mine in case of safety reasons. And if you have special packages like VIP and soundcheck, or if you get a ticket from Will Call, like if you're like from another country, cause a lot of people do that from Will Call, the ticketing company, Ticketmaster in this case, will most likely require you to have it on hand. I'm not completely sure because I didn't get soundcheck this time around.